Hey guys, so today I'm filming a first impressions of my new palette that just showed up here in the mail today. I had to play with this, so I didn't wear any makeup to work, but how cute is this? This is actually, I'm not even gonna lie guys, it's actually even cuter in person because when I like saw it, First of all, I thought it was going to be a really neutral palette. I don't know why. I just feel like Hannah does neutral looks. But then when she said, like, she really likes pink. And then I've just noticed her wearing more, like, pink shadows. And now that I see this in person, it does look so, so cute. And the shade Nutty, I'm really excited about because so many people have been talking about it. It's just so fun to see somebody you watch so much get a collab like this and I know Hannah from Smoky Glow has been working with Midas for a long long time so that is really really cool and I've just been like itching to do a neutral look but the shade Jump Cut looks nice. Colleague, oh there's so many options. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna be a neutral bitch and use neutral colors because that's just what I feel like doing right now. I I'm home after a long, 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 long day of work and I am so happy to be home. Um, but yeah, it was just a long day. It's a long day as per usual. I'm gonna grab this Sonia G Blender Pro brush and I wanna go into the shade, I wanna go into the shade Vote. It's like a beautiful, just like my Perfect little crease color to throw in the crease. This is my palette that I bought myself. So I, if you guys have been following me for a bit, you'll know I just got an affiliate code with Midas. And um, it kind of happened like right when Hannah's collab was coming out. So I wasn't sure like, you know, you don't really want to like assume you're going to get like PR or anything like that. Um, I had just bought two of their palettes to try out. And so I was like excited. And then she reached out to me and she said, oh, do you want to code? And I was like, sure, like I'll try it out and see, you know, whatever. Um, because I had already really enjoyed my little palettes that I got. So um, yeah, she offered me a code and it's a small Blur Indie brand, so I was kind of excited and a lot of my YouTube friends, well, not a lot, but like Teresa is an affiliate of Midas and um, Amy and Angie have both tried the brand as well, so I felt pretty comfortable and I was kind of excited because I've never been an affiliate with anyone before, so it's kind of cool, but yeah, I didn't want to assume I was going to get this in PR, so when it launched officially, I decided to grab at least just the palette, so I have the palette. You guys know I'm not supposed to be buying any face products this year, so I just bought the eyeshadow palette because I wanted to, of course, support a smaller YouTuber, and um, yeah, I was really excited, and I was so sad that this whole, like, coronavirus thing happened because then their shipments were delayed, and I did see some of you were like, oh, I canceled my order, like, I couldn't, you know, get something like that. Um, but from what I understand, and my research is very minimal on the subject, but I believe um, the virus can't live on inanimate objects, so you don't have to worry about it, like, transferring through, you know, imports or exports or things like that. So, you know, <laughs> that's that's what I know. So that's what I'm telling you guys. So I like Vote. It's a very nice neutral brown shade. Now to smoke it out, I'm gonna get I'm gonna go into Half Pony, which is a nice dark brown. Just gonna stick to my Sonia G brush, and I'm just gonna add that. I was honestly very worried about if this was gonna be tan girl friendly, because I mean, obviously Hannah's like a lighter skin tone than me, so. Um, the shades we use are going to be a little bit different um, on how they apply, but I think the owner of Midas is also pretty, t I mean, I think she is probably the same color as me or maybe a little darker. I'm not actually 100% sure um, <laughs> what her shade is, but um, 
I'm assuming she's obviously like tested the palette and I know they have a few other models too on their website wearing the product. So if you're unsure, you can always check that out. Okay, so I really liked Half Pony. Now for a lid shade, I am, I have a choice between a rant, which is like a beautiful champagne, and Instagram model, which is also like another beautiful neutral eye. Oh, man, Nutty looks good. Like, I'm curious. So anyways, I look a hot mess right now. Like, my lids now match my bags under my eyes. Soup's cute. Okay, what do we think? Do we need to wet the brush? That is the million dollar question. Um, let's try it without, I'm curious. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go into a rant. It just looks like the most beautiful gold shade. So I pick some up with the Smith brush. Okay, it's it looks like it's almost like a topper. So let me try Instagram model. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit more pigmented. Um, might need to build that up. I think this is gonna work way better if I spray my brush, so one second, please. Okay, reach for my hand dandy um, Obawar spray. Oh yeah, no, that's the stuff. It's very neutral. Sometimes I surprise myself with how much I love neutrals, but I also love color sometimes. It's really whatever I'm in the mood for. So. <laughs> the shade is foiling really pretty on my lid. Midas was also really kind and sent me some other makeup to play with. Um, and try out so I have their high times palette I also have their lemonade palette which I haven't used yet so I definitely want to do some looks with those products let me know what you guys would like to see always open to your suggestions okay just going into half pony and helping blend the shimmer shade super cute so Trust me, this eye look is gonna look 10 times better once I put some foundation on. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. This is so neutral and I think so every day. So I am happy I did this because I think it just goes with the vibe of the palette. And yeah, so I hope you guys like the look. It was super easy to do. So you guys shouldn't have any trouble following along. And if you weren't able to get your hands on this palette or you're waiting for this palette, I'm sure you can pick up any other neutral palette and recreate this very, very easy look. I did throw on a wing just because I was feeling like a wing. I haven't done a wing in a long time and I love doing wings with neutral eyeshadows so I had to throw one on. I do want to say I did use this mascara. This is the Maybelline New York Falsy Lash Lift Mascara and I've had this for quite some time. I just finished up a Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and so I'm forcing myself to use this one because I had the Monsieur Big out for quite some time. I think uh, three months. Yeah, for sure. I think I had hit three months on it. So I was neglecting this one and so now I'm using this and oh my gosh, my lashes are like the Monster Big is so good and I used to be such a drugstore mascara girl so I just wanted to throw this in and let you guys know it's just okay. It's not my favorite. I used to love Maybelline mascara so I'm really kind of bummed that I don't like that one. It's a newer one from them. And then I did use the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. I got this from the Midas package that the owner sent me. Um, her and Ginger are our friends, so it was fun to try this out again. This is my second time using this. I also used this when I did my Bloodlust Eye Look, so you guys will see that coming up soon as well, or it might already be up. I will try and remember to link it. Cute, I really like it so far. It's very sticky, it's very nice. Love it. And then I also got a lip gloss from Midas, and I really like this combination. So I am wearing 
Maybelline Raw Chocolate, and then this is Midas in number one, the lip gloss. Such a nice nude combination, and their lip gloss is so yummy and delicious, and yeah, what else do I need to, oh, and then I, I remember this because I sometimes post those like throwbacks on Instagram, and I saw a picture of my So Hollywood highlighter, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pull that out, so that is my highlight today, So Hollywood, I don't think you can get that anymore, and while I was doing my foundation, I was watching Hannah's new video, so... That was full circle right there. So anyway, before I give you my thoughts and first impressions, I do want to swatch this palette. So let's do that really quickly here. It's so funny that I stayed away from the colorful shades. I, I doesn't seem like me at all. So we have basic, we have friends, jump cut, group chat, and rose. Pretty. So there's the first five shades. Okay, so here are the next five shades we have Leno, Nutty, Colleague, Warrior, and Vote. Ooh, those two shades are so pretty. Nutty and Leno. <gasps> Look at Nutty. Oh my gosh. We have Instagram model. We have Amazing. And then we have Hello, Half Pony, and Arant. So there's those shades. Oop. So there's those five shades. And then the last three. I have Cold Brew, I have Content, and Duofa, which it was funny. She said in her video that she used to think that Doefoot meant was Dofa, the word Dofa, that everyone was saying Dofa instead of Dofa applicator on like concealers. So I think that was a really funny name. I really like the names of the shadows. So let me go ahead and throw in a little clip of the swatches on my arm right here for you guys. Okay guys, so now that you've seen the eye look and you saw the swatches, just some first impressions on this palette for me. I definitely enjoy the color story. I think it is very, very beautiful. I was expecting it to be a much more neutral palette, just in my mind, but I love that she threw in some of these really bright pops of color. I think this is definitely a palette you can use in the winter time and then bring into spring and summer as well. I know a lot of people don't have as many eyeshadow palettes as I do. So, you know, if you're looking for something versatile, I think this is a fun one because you can, you know, use the neutral shades every day. Like if you're a college student and you want to go to class and stuff like that, you have some neutrals. But if you love like a little bit of pop of color, you can definitely hit up Jump Cut and Colleague and the shade Nutty and stuff like that. So I am gonna try and do another look with this palette maybe something brighter and more spring and summer so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that as far as the actual palette goes like it's so cute this beautiful pink shimmer packaging it's so lightweight which is really nice like this weekend I was filming with the Jeffree Star bloodlust palette and that palette weighs like a billion pounds so it feels so nice to just have like a nice slim palette and it has a sleeve which is nice and compact so I love that and I think it's just nice and sleek and yeah it's really 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 cute and also there is a nice mirror and then on there it says hi friends which I think is really cute so overall my thoughts on the formula it's definitely not my favorite formula as far as mattes and shimmers go but as you guys can see I was able to make it work you guys will definitely have to let me know your thoughts on it I am so happy I picked this up I like I said or if I didn't say um, I actually bought this palette so it wasn't like sent to me or anything I wanted to pick it up and support always and it's so fun to see youtubers get opportunities like this to collab with brands and Midas Cosmetics is a woman-owned brand and it's so fun to see them coming up with such creative fun ideas so let me know you guys thoughts down in the comments did you pick up this palette are you planning on picking up this palette i did get one comment on my instagram and it was definitely something that crossed my mind too she said 
oh, I just bought the blood sugar palette from Jeffree Star, um, so I'm wondering if I should get this. And I used to own the blood sugar palette. I actually recently decluttered it because I wasn't really using it too much, and it seems like everyone was coming out with like a red and pink and purple palette. And oh, that's the other palette I wanted to compare it to is the Love Palette by Natasha Denona because I think the Natasha Denona palette got announced like right before um, Hannah made her video or some, it was very close because then I was like, oh my gosh, like, am I going to want to get both? Like, they seem so similar and I'm on this low buy situation. So yeah, I think if you have blood sugar, you probably won't need this palette. Um, but sometimes it's just nice to support your favorite YouTuber and that's a good enough reason to buy something, <laughs> in my humble opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you plan on picking this up or not, I love talking to you guys in my comment section. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, anything I missed, let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to try and get you some answers if I don't know. And oh, I'm sorry, on the back really quick, it does say it is an 18 color eyeshadow palette and weight is 1.26 ounces, uh, manufactured for Midas Cosmetics. I do believe this palette is made in China. I don't think it says that on the sleeve, but that's okay. And then cruelty free and 24 month shelf life. And it does have the recycle logo on it as well. So that is it. I've blabbered on. I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye.